something big just happened and it could shape the future of artificial intelligence and tech jobs worldwide. A move so sudden, so strategic, that it caught global markets off guard. China has begun cutting NVIDIA out of its tech ecosystem. And at the very same moment, the United States is facing mass layoffs across several industries. These two events are not random. They are connected in ways most people have not noticed yet. And the consequences could be dramatic. Right now, a silent struggle is unfolding behind the scenes. It is a struggle over who controls the future of artificial intelligence, who controls the most powerful chips on the planet, and who controls the economic direction of the next decade. On one side, China is rapidly advancing its own processors and pushing foreign technology out. On the other side, American companies are preparing for a storm that could bring job cuts near record levels. And between these two forces sits NVIDIA, the company that became the heart of the global AI boom. In the next few minutes, you will learn why China turned away from NVIDIA at this exact point in time and why it is happening faster than most analysts expected. You will learn how China's new orders are forcing major tech firms to stop purchasing NVIDIA chips, even canceling contracts that were worth billions, and why this is a sign of something much deeper than a simple trade dispute. You will also learn the lesser known reasons behind the rising layoffs in the United States, including a slowdown in artificial intelligence spending, falling demand for data centers, and early signs of an economic shift that many experts are still ignoring. By the end of this video, you will understand how these events connect, why they matter, and how they could reshape the balance of power in global technology. You will see how China's push to replace foreign chips could weaken some of the biggest American companies, and how declining investment in advanced hardware could trigger more job cuts across Silicon Valley and beyond. You will hear details that rarely make the headlines, such as the internal warnings inside corporations, the struggle of chip suppliers to maintain orders, and the growing fear that the artificial intelligence boom may be slowing down far earlier than expected. Most viewers only hear the public statements. They do not hear the private conversations within companies. They do not see how decisions made in Beijing or Washington can ripple across the entire world in a matter of weeks. But in this video, you will get the full picture. And as you watch, you will notice how each development connects to the next like pieces of a bigger plan a plan that may determine who leads artificial intelligence for the next generation. So stay with us till the end, because what is happening now will affect not just technology companies, but jobs, markets, and innovation for years to come. Welcome to our channel. If you want clear explanations, sharp insights, and deep breakdowns of the events shaping our world, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. NVIDIA, has become one of the most important companies in the world of artificial intelligence. It built the chips that power training for large language models, robotics, autonomous vehicles, and the massive data centers behind almost every major AI platform. For years, these chips have been considered the gold standard. Companies that wanted to stay competitive in advanced computing often started with NVIDIA hardware because nothing else matched its performance, efficiency, and software ecosystem. This reputation pushed NVIDIA to the center of the global AI race. For a long time, one of the biggest hopes for NVIDIA's future was China. China's tech giants were expanding fast, building larger data centers, launching new artificial intelligence projects, and racing to lead in cloud computing. Each of these areas required powerful processors, and NVIDIA's chips were at the top of their list. Analysts expected that China could become one of the company's largest revenue streams, especially as Chinese demand for artificial intelligence tools surged. Companies in China were eager to buy more units each year, from small inference chips to the most advanced high-end processors. There was strong belief inside the industry that China would help push NVIDIA's growth to new heights. Many forecasts were built around rapid Chinese adoption, driven by the explosion of data, new AI applications, and the country's ambition to compete globally. Investors saw China as essential, a market large enough to shape NVIDIA's long-term direction. For a while, the expectation was simple. The deeper China moved into advanced artificial intelligence, the more NVIDIA would rise with it. NVIDIA just got hit with a major blow inside China. The country's internet regulator instructed top tech firms, including giant names like Alibaba and ByteDance, to stop buying NVIDIA's AI chips. 
They were told to halt testing and even cancel existing orders for the company's RTX Pro 6000D chips, a model specially meant for Chinese data centers and AI workloads. This is more than just a slowdown. It amounts to an effective ban on NVIDIA's chips across many of China's biggest tech players. Projects that had lined up tens of thousands of units suddenly had to stop. Chips that were expected to power massive cloud servers, AI training centers, and data hubs have now been frozen out. What makes this move especially significant is that it is not triggered by foreign export restrictions or outside pressure. It is an internal decision from Beijing. The push is part of a broader shift. China is choosing to rely on domestically developed AI chips instead of foreign ones. The goals now are self-reliance, security, and control. In practical terms, this crackdown hits not just chip sales, but the entire AI infrastructure pipeline in China. Data centers funded by the state are being told to drop foreign processors. Existing orders are being canceled. Even chip testing and evaluation phases are being shut down. For NVIDIA, the consequence is immediate. A massive chunk of potential revenue and a major market suddenly closed off. China's recent actions make it clear that it wants to reduce its dependency on foreign technology, especially technology coming from the United States. For years, Chinese leaders have warned about the risks of relying on foreign chips to power their data centers, artificial intelligence systems, and cloud platforms. Every time new restrictions appeared from Washington, those warnings grew louder. Now China is accelerating its shift toward domestically developed processors, pushing its biggest companies to replace foreign chips with homegrown alternatives. This move is not happening in isolation. It is part of a much larger rivalry over artificial intelligence, semiconductor power, and long-term technological dominance. Both countries see advanced chips as the foundation of future economic growth and military strength. In that kind of competition, depending on a foreign supplier, becomes a strategic weakness. China wants to remove that weakness by building its own supply chain from the ground up. That includes chip design, manufacturing, data center architecture, and even the software that runs large-scale AI systems. For China, controlling its own supply is not only strategic, it is economic. Local chip companies gain more investment. Industrial parks focused on semiconductor development expand rapidly. Universities push more engineers into chip design programs. Startups receive government funding to develop processors that can replace foreign products. The entire ecosystem grows stronger when the country buys its own technology instead of relying on imports. There is also a trust factor involved. China wants chips it can control, chips it can regulate, and chips that cannot be disrupted by outside forces. Over the last few years, several Chinese companies experienced setbacks when they could not secure the foreign components they needed. Those experiences pushed Chinese policymakers to speed up their path towards self-reliance. Now they want AI powered by local silicon, data centers running on domestic servers, and cloud platforms built on technology that stays inside the country. NVIDIA now faces the possibility of losing one of its largest markets almost overnight. With Chinese firms told to stop purchasing its chips, the company is suddenly cut off from a region that once generated massive demand. This means fewer and possibly zero sales to a market that was expected to fuel a significant part of NVIDIA's future growth. Some of the chips designed specifically for China have already seen demand collapse leaving inventory sitting unused and planned production schedules disrupted. Such a sharp decline in orders does more than reduce sales. It creates uncertainty for the company's entire global strategy. NVIDIA built many of its long-term plans around the expectation that China would remain a reliable buyer. Those expectations helped shape product development, manufacturing capacity, and revenue forecasts. Now, all of those projections are under pressure. When a company loses a customer base of this scale, the financial impact is deep and immediate. At the same time, domestic chip makers inside China are quickly rising to fill the space left behind. As Chinese firms shift toward homegrown processors, NVIDIA's position as the default choice for high performance AI computing becomes less secure. The more China accelerates its independence, the more local manufacturers gain strength. That shift could weaken NVIDIA's influence not only in China, 
but also in other regions watching this geopolitical tension unfold. The ripple effects reach investors as well. Analysts who once predicted strong long-term growth for NVIDIA may now revise their expectations. Revenue estimates tied to China could drop sharply and questions may rise about how much of the company's future depends on markets that can change direction so quickly. Any sign of slowing demand or shrinking market share can shake investor confidence, especially in a company that has been valued heavily on its explosive growth. The slowdown in chip demand and reduced spending on artificial intelligence projects is already sending shockwaves through the tech industry. When major buyers pause or cancel orders, companies that built their growth around rapid AI expansion suddenly face shrinking revenue. As budgets tighten, many firms begin cutting staff to stabilize costs, and this can contribute to layoffs across the United States and other parts of the world. Jobs connected to data centers, cloud infrastructure, AI research, and semiconductor development become vulnerable when the momentum that once drove them starts to weaken. As this shift continues, progress in artificial intelligence may begin to slow or take a different direction. Companies that can no longer rely on imported chips may turn toward local alternatives, attempting to build new hardware ecosystems that fit their economic or political environment. This move toward homegrown solutions could change the landscape of innovation. Some projects may struggle, others may adapt, and new players may rise where foreign companies once dominated. At the global level, the competition only becomes more intense. China is pushing harder than ever to expand its chip ecosystem and reduce external dependence. Meanwhile, companies in the United States and other Western countries are working to maintain their edge and protect their share of the AI market. This environment creates a race where each side tries to strengthen its own supply chain secure its own talent, and accelerate its own technological breakthroughs. Several paths could unfold from this turning point, and each one would reshape the technology landscape in a different way. In the first scenario, China continues moving aggressively toward its own processors, eventually replacing almost all foreign chips in its data centers and artificial intelligence systems. If this shift becomes permanent, domestic chip companies inside China could rise quickly, they would receive more funding, more contracts, and more political support. Over time, they might even close the performance gap with Western chip makers, gaining strength in both local and international markets. In the second scenario, foreign companies such as NVIDIA adjust to the new environment. They might redesign chips to meet China's regulatory expectations or develop specialized versions that avoid restrictions. They could also turn their focus to regions still hungry for AI expansion, such as India, Southeast Asia, or the Middle East. This type of adaptation could help them recover lost ground, and it might even open paths into new markets that were previously overlooked. The companies that respond fastest would have the best chance of maintaining influence. In the third scenario, the global artificial intelligence boom begins to cool down. If chip demand continues to drop and companies cut back on expensive AI projects, there could be a wider slowdown in tech investment. Businesses may pause hiring, trim their research budgets, or cancel ambitious projects that depend on costly hardware. This shift could reduce the number of new data centers being built, delay upgrades, and impact startups that rely on high-performance computing. This moment is bigger than one company, one market, or one policy decision. What is happening right now signals a global shift in how nations build power, how companies plan their futures, and how technology shapes everyday life. The break between China and NVIDIA is not just a business story. It is part of a wider realignment that will influence artificial intelligence, jobs, investment, and the balance of strength in the tech world for years ahead. Anyone who follows technology, works in the industry, or watches the rise of artificial intelligence should pay close attention to these moves Changes in chip supply, data center strategy, and national tech policy do not stay confined within borders. They spread outward, affecting hiring, innovation, competition, and the speed at which new breakthroughs reach the world. What looks like a market decision today could become a turning point tomorrow. The landscape is shifting quickly, and the outcome will shape the future of global technology. In the race for AI dominance, the rules just changed 
and everyone will feel the ripple. If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more deep insights into the stories shaping our world.